Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to focus on Middle East Seed Capital Investors, and this is a series of videos on investor profiles that are part of my Middle East fundraising database. The guide to Middle East Capital includes the following. It has 325 company names, key contacts, the type of business, sectors of potential investment interest, websites, company emails, key contact emails, and key outreach strategy points. And the database will be delivered in Excel spreadsheet format. Some key database statistics, about 185 or 57 percent of the companies are based in the UAE, 60 companies are based in Saudi Arabia, and 125 companies are either venture capital, private equity, or angel investor groups, so that's about 40 percent. This is the best database for first-time fundraising in the Middle East. This video highlights Omnia Ventures in the UAE, and they are one of 325 venture capital, private equity, Andrew groups, and investment companies in my exclusive Middle East fundraising database. Company Snapshot, they're based in the United Arab Emirates, and they're classified as an investment company and private equity firm. Their focus is private equity and venture capital investments. And their company description is Omnia Ventures is an investment firm that creates value through private equity, venture capital investments, and corporate advisory services. Company focus, their investor approach and strategy is Omnia Ventures Abu Dhabi UAE operates as a principal investment firm founded in 2006. The focus is on creating value through private equity, venture capital, and corporate advisory services, emphasizing strategic mentorship, business development, and turnaround advisory. Their company expertise, Omnia Ventures invests in private equity, targeting sectors like energy, transportation, healthcare, and technology, with a focus on sourcing proprietary deal flow. Their expertise lies in selecting investments with quality leadership, sustainable advantages, and scalability, and their venture span diverse industries globally, contributing both capital and expertise. Geographic reach, Omnia Ventures has a global footprint, investing in projects and companies across the United States, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, and Africa. Their reach includes joint ventures with foreign companies in the UAE and GCC, supporting local entrepreneurs and identifying opportunities with unmet market needs. And here are some of their previous investments. Potential investment opportunities to approach them with. In my database, I have identified two to three common areas that these type of companies may be looking at as far as future investments. Doesn't mean they're going to invest in them today or tomorrow, but I've used a bit of information from their website, pre previous uh, press releases and other firms that are in their same sector. And based on that, given their past investment patterns and existing philosophy, you might want to propose the following investment opportunities. Private equity, real estate, financial services, fintech, maybe even healthcare as well for groups like this. But there are many opportunities and that's a good thing about the database. It helps steer you in certain directions so that you can plan how to potentially market to these type of companies. One added benefit is my database also includes tips for investor outreach and this is what makes it very unique. There is no database like it. You're going to see the spreadsheet part coming up next where I show you the key outreach touch points for 325 of the firms. This is what makes this the best database for first time fundraising in the Middle East. If this is your first time trying to reach out to Middle East uh, firms, uh, it's important to build relationships with them. Uh, it is very, very important to start at associate, investment advisor, or director levels before you start to send CEOs and chairman uh, information on potential investment opportunities. So it's a little bit different than marketing maybe to a Western group where if you have the chairman's name, the CEO's name, you just send something off to them. Now, this database does have many CEO, chairman, and partner uh, contacts. You're going to see that coming up. But also, it allows you to start to build contacts at different levels. So if you know a contact in the 
uh, firm and you want to send out a note to them, you might send out for this case, for example, in light of Omnia Ventures' commitment to pioneering projects, our initiative is poised to align with your pursuit of excellence in the investment landscape. Now, that could be a good lead-in email if you already know who the contact is or have their contact uh, details. And again, in this database, you've got CEO and chairman contacts. If you're comfortable sending information to them right off the bat, you might want to use that approach. Now, if you do not have any contacts yet, a good approach could be to send a outreach email subject heading such as Collaborative Ventures with Omnia Ventures. And your key email approach line may include, our proposal could be a good fit for your investment criteria. Who would be a good contact at your group to discuss this with? So you can see there's different approaches when you're reaching out to clients for the first time in the Middle East. Uh, again, it's important to build relationships with them, uh, create a database of key contacts at many levels, and explore the focus of their company and understand their internal process of how they like to have deals presented. This is really, really important. When I was working in the Middle East, I helped develop our company database with senior and intermediate partners, and we were working on behalf of ultra high net worth investors on both the buy side and the sell side, primarily in high end real estate projects. These projects ranged anywhere from $50 million to $250 million. So the building of a relationship is really important before one of our team, myself included, we send a presentation out to these contacts. Remember, when you send out your first email to any of these groups, you should not try to send your pitch deck out if you're trying to raise funds for your startup. You should not try to send that investment proposal out for that $100 million hotel in the United States or in the UK or some other large real estate investment project. You should start your development of the relationship first before you start to approach them with that first venture. Because this way you'll understand who to go through. Remember, if you were to sell a presentation out to their chairman, there's a really good chance that that chairman's gonna kick it down to their associate or someone on the investment advisor, maybe a director level, maybe even a vice president. So the best thing is to find out who these contacts are in the very beginning. Now, I've included a large amount of human resources contacts with my database. This is really going to help you build these relationships. And it's so much easier that when you start to present uh, larger uh, projects, maybe other ventures uh, to these firms, that you're going to have a track record of three or four contacts at the firm. And you can always say, hey, I was speaking to so-and-so uh, in your uh, real estate uh, a sec, uh, a section and they said that you would be a good contact to reach out to. That's your best way to reach out and build relationships when it comes to marketing in the Middle East. So let's take a look at the database. So now we're over on the database section and this is the Excel spreadsheet that includes all the contacts in the Middle East capital database and as you can see on the very top we've got 325 companies uh, we have their country, description of the firm, their main business interests, their websites, and they've all been verified. Uh, and of course, this database will be suitable for all of 2024. I also have included their investment targets, uh, one and two and three. So those are based on information that is publicly known, information that is on their websites of different investments and types of sectors that they will look at. So again, this database is really meant for people who are building a larger data set of Middle East companies to either uh, approach for funding or to possibly promote their products to, because there's a blend of venture capital, private equity, family investment offices, and investment companies, and high profile companies in the UAE that are led by UAE National. So it's a really great database for companies that really want to get a very good look at some of the key parties in the Middle East when it comes to raising capital. It also has their investment territory, uh, which includes whether they're just looking at either the Middle East or whether they're looking MENA or whether they're looking global. I've also included their key real estate assets. If they're investment companies that tend to look at real estate, I've included those as well in this database. Now, it also has, as far as key touch points, uh, it has their company emails, and in some cases it's not available because they want you to actually submit your details 
via their forum. Uh, but I'll get to the key stats a little bit later on. And you also saw that in the initial uh, slide presentation. Telephone numbers and contact numbers. There are two what I call primary contacts, and then there's a third, which is the secondary contacts. The key contacts could include CEOs, managing directors, executive directors, and that is the same with the secondary, uh, second contact title. You can see operations manager, directors of real estate, presidents, and so on and so on. And the main reason for that is so that you have a senior contact that you can reach out to. You can also check them on LinkedIn to get more details. Uh, in many cases, their email addresses have already been included, and I'm going to get to that again when we go to the stats page. And the third email contact tends to be somebody in HR. And the reason I've done that is because this database is very unique in the fact that I include outreach approach tips for each of these firms. Uh, there are two types. One is a outreach uh, touch point if you know who the contact is. In other words, if it's been already identified by myself, then you could uh, I'll send them a line that I've included here in all the con companies. Uh, for example, Saudi has a strong track record in urban development in Kuwait. Would you be interested in a unique investment opportunity that complements your portfolio? And the reason I include these is to help people write their first letters and also to show you that you should not be spamming this type of list with just a generic email approach. Uh, uh, talking about your company and the investment opportunity this allows you to add a little bit of information about them so whoever receives it is going to know that you did a little bit of work and this should not be considered a spam and the second reason here is I've got contact sourcing outreach approach and this is if you do not know who the contact is and this is really key because in some cases you may not have a contact and this is the perfect way for you to introduce yourself for example, in this case, I put subject request for direct contact with investment division. Uh, and then as the body of the, the email may include, I believe you might be the right person to assist me. We're exploring potential investment opportunities that align with Salia's investments vision. Could you direct us to the person or team responsible for evaluating such opportunities? And you can see as I scroll down here, it is included in that type of line. They're all customized, of course. Uh, the same with the ones for the direct contacts that are known. They actually talk about something the company has done, something they've vet invested in, the sectors, uh, or possibly what their company uh, vision is. And this is really going to help you, especially if you're doing first-time fundraising or if you just want to save time when it comes to your research for these type of firms. That's what makes this database unique. Another thing that makes it unique is it really sticks to mainly uh, the type of companies that are either venture capital, or private equity, uh, investment companies. Uh, so there's no fluff in here. There's no companies in here that are, should not be in here. And that is the difference between this database and other databases that are out there uh, that talk about investments and reaching out to uh, other investors. For example, there's very little here when it comes to accelerators. There might be a couple of them, but it's not plugged full of what I would call just garbage contacts. These are really key companies that are perfect for reaching out to whether you're raising funds or whether you want to present opportunities, whether it's real estate, investment opportunities and the like. So let's take a look at some of the stats. So the underlying stats are there's 470 firms, 340 prime contacts, 90 third tier contacts, uh, and 90 email contacts when it comes to the third tier. So you're getting about 400 and a little over 450 uh, emails and the total company emails are 275. So those would be info at, admin at, that sort. So that's a really key overview of the database. Again, this is going to be a series where I'm going to highlight each of the contacts. For more information on this database, contact www.dubaiinvestorslist.com. That's dubaiinvestorslist.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.